I could not be here breathing and be comfortable if I was really as bad as they was making, you know, and nobody could be around me. So for me to be this calm, I must have some kind of inner peace. And my inner peace is knowing that once everybody take the time to really see what type of person I am, you'd be surprised that I stuck around this long. I have to make the life that I do live as happy as I can and try to do the best with what I have. Do, you know, live the best life I can live, be as happy as I can be. N nothing is perfect for anybody. I don't know. Boys, I swear, I think I figured it out. You know why they don't want us redneck brothers and sisters and the hood brothers and sisters getting along? You know why? Because we'd be unstoppable. I'm telling you right now, we would shut shit down. I need to deal with this. Oh, wow. Wait. Oh, okay. Got it. Give me one second, y'all. I'm not going to say nothing for a moment. Because I'm going to let y'all listen to this. And I want y'all opinion. And right now, what I got to do is I got to cut the grass. I got to cut the grass and I got to expose the snakes. And the things that I'm going to say right now, this is my opinion and these are my views. And this is what I'm experiencing. And today, I feel like I should at least show you guys that there is some different levels to this stuff. And so when this thing I said that I was going to work with a collaborated effort, one of the things that I said, and I've been celebratory of everybody who did things, especially if it was for the first things that ever happened. But the first, the first, the first person that ever gave me any resource and a YouTube experience in my entire life advocacy was that of a of 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 this particular YouTuber, the late night crew. I saw him when he first started to report on the things that I was doing, and I had already seen that he wanted to get at me. Um and I think that it's interesting because they talk about how the page is demonetized. Um, but I want to show you all what, while I was on my way to Chicago, I want to show you all what I had the pleasure of looking at for about two or two, three hours. And then I want to deal with this. I'm going to deal with this once and I'm going to deal with this only once. And that's because I'm getting ready for a war. My life has been put on the line and in the balance. My family has been threatened. I've been affected in so many ways and I just don't have time to play with people. And I don't want people to not to be misconstrued. So, so, so what I said, what I said publicly was that I'm going to be responsive to three people on YouTube. That would be Burgundy Blue, Late Night Crew, and Hannibal. I told y'all I would be responsive to them. We're literally going to watch this live because I want you guys to see. And I want your opinion. Those of you all who can stay up and that can withstand this live. I just want your opinion of what I'm going to show you first before I add any commentary to anything. I'm going to ask your opinion about what you're looking at. I went to bed last night, like nine o'clock. I know some people probably hit me up at nine o'clock. Like, damn, what the fuck say on you? Like, I was asleep. I've been up since seven o'clock this morning. I got a full night's sleep like a normal human, nigga. She made this nigga cry and quit, nigga. I watched that shit laugh so hard. I passed the fuck i missed and i miss anthony edwards i miss angela's little cousin dunking all over kd nigga i had nigga i passed out from this shit tactical nuke incoming he gone 
Just like that, nigga. You was look, nigga, you was looking for out. I nigga, there's no way Burgundy made you cry and quit, nigga. <laughs> Burgundy blue made you cry and quit, nigga? What I was taking too long? Yeah, nigga, I was just I was just not gonna give you you was never gonna be able to say that Shay was the reason you left. I was never gonna give you that out. Never giving you that out, nigga. I was never giving it to you. And hold on, nigga. See, this is the shit I'm talking about. What am I talking about exactly? Oh, it's simple. I'm talking about unrivaled coverage through the unrivaled research. Because I got a motherfucking unrivaled squad. Shout out to the boy that they call J Bon motherfucking Barksdale, nigga. Oh, you the you the one. You the one, kid. You, nigga, he's the one. He's the one. I, I got a real team. Shout out to the beat squad, nigga. I got a real team, nigga. Not none of, not none of this shit. <laughs> Let me show you how my real team get down, nigga. Show show them how show them how your team get down, Shay. You think I'm lying about Jed quitting and going to Flint? Well, Jed's live on Facebook right now. Dear Michigan, my name is Jedediah. Now, remember, Dalton, before we get into this video, all I'm going to say is this. I listened to y'all, and I stayed off that nigga head out of respect for y'all. Something I never do. You can ask people around me. That was weird for Shady just, boy, oh, okay. Okay. Now, let's see if anything I said previously will apply now. So I didn't timestamp this video. I really want you guys to please bear with me in this. Like I said, if you can't watch the whole thing, just come back later. Did you hear what he just said? I listened to y'all not getting on this nigga head. So that lets you guys know what? From the very beginning, as we already saw when we first saw his reporting, he was already looking for a way to come against me. But that's okay. That's not the point. I'll get you to the point. Anything. We'll just see. So back to my summary. I'm not telling anybody any questions. Let me say this right. Okay, let's bring Jedediah up. Hey, Jedediah. You guys. How are you feeling now? I'm okay. <clears throat> okay. Okay, guys. I know you're probably patrolled but perturbed by my discussion. So I have maybe three questions, and I didn't mean to take you out of your rest. So if you got maybe 10 minutes. <laughs> She's so fucking professional, courteous advice, man. <laughs> <laughs> Berg is just the opposite of press, nigga, like at all times, nigga. Nigga, somehow this nigga goes from, from somehow is going to turn into him crying. But go ahead, you speak first. Let's get, you say what you need to say. Go ahead. Um, I really, I really don't know what's going on. I just know that my team members have asked Stop the cow. Asked me to come on and speak for myself or something. I have been. You don't know nothing what Burgundy was saying. So this is what you, you gonna stand on. You still standing on this team shit as a right this Okay, go ahead. Watch this, y'all. Trying to unplug today and rest. Um, but you are somebody who I have been told and who I feel is very viable in this situation. So I'm, I'm being responsive. So what is it that I can... What, what I, don't, I don't know. I, re, I honestly don't know the conversation. Then why you sound so sad? Nobody has ever heard you on air sound sad before. Why would you disrespect Bird like this? You've been disrespecting her a lot lately. I've been noticing it. This is my, this is me, what I've been saying. I saw her 
put the camera on you go hey it's Jedediah Brown you turn act like you didn't know her and kept trying to walk off and so she was like it's me burgundy now when you went on Hannibal's show you didn't act like this and I, I'm definitely not trying to bring nobody in it but I'm just this is solely about Jed why are you acting like this on her show it seems like you got something on your chest okay so the conversation was it i'm gonna start with like a couple of key points we were going over your video today so when i that video came up it piqued my e interest because i received an email from someone that said they needed to talk to me you said now first before we start hold on hold on hold on I, that video came up it piqued my e interest because i received an email from someone that said they needed to talk good morning good afternoon burgundy blue i am pastor i am the spokesperson for jedediah brown advocacy cyber investigation unit <laughs> I have been asked to reach out to you. It has come to our attention that you were fined by the Thor by the township for four hundred dollars. Can you please let me know if there's any truth to this? <laughs> Why are you sending her an email trying to get her to panic? What you what y'all trying to scare a bird? What y'all over there doing? The fuck is this? And Jed, let's say you do have a team. Fuck you, nigga. We don't. I don't talk, to, nigga. I talk to the boss, and I heard Berg say that shit too, nigga. We talk to bosses. I agree with her, nigga. We talk to bosses, nigga. You ain't that. You ain't like that, nigga. If I can hit the trustees on their phone, nigga, then I don't need to be going through nobody to get to you. That's weird. That's some weird shit. I literally got numbers of motherfuckers that really matter in this shit. Personal phone numbers of people that matter. And then you, and then all of a sudden, it, these random ass people be popping up in chats talking about they, they part of your team and shit, but you don't never show up. Where the fuck you at? Was this too little for you so you got to send your, your minions out? I got you. I'll tell you, I mean, you said, now, first, before we start, ACIU, we are not to trust them now. Um, hello? Yeah, I'm still here. I'm sorry. ACIU, we're not supposed to trust them. Um, ACIU is a freshman group of investigators that I've organized since. How the fuck are you qualified to organize a freshman group of investigators? So I'm not going to sit here and watch this all over again, but you literally can see if you look at this man's delivery of this particular incident, he doesn't have a clue of what's going on for real. And he's spending his time now because he thinks that I'm gone trying to befriend Burgundy by doing this little, you're so professional and you're so nice in your talk. This is what lames do when they're trying to make friends. And so basically what this dude is doing is he's trying to throw in little slick things and create this weak narrative so that he could discredit me. What I've watched this guy, because once somebody starts off attacking you and then they change, it's not in their real, it's not in their heart to really be for you because he didn't do any research about me before he started trying to attack me when I first came on the scene, red flag, not credible. But I was very respectful to him because the collaborated conversations that we were having, they let me know that he was a part of. It. He was interviewing residents and he was also interviewing officials that was in this. And it was about the more the merrier for me. But what I want you all to understand is that I am not a YouTuber. I now have a YouTube page. But when you got, I literally said that this is somebody I'll be responsive to, not anymore. And I don't think that this person is worth any more to Dalton than strict entertainment. He is funny, but he is incredible. The things that he is sharing with you guys in the, in the form of receipts are things that have been given to him 
from the collaborated table. The people who he's saying that are bosses, they're giving him information that we have already talked about in our own meetings. And he as a YouTuber gets it. He is not on the ground. He came to Dalton one day or two days to a meeting and he didn't raise hell or bring up any issues. He interviewed people and he said it's bad body built ass behind the media line talking to people and then he went home. He is not going to have police threaten him, but for him to also disrespect my team means that he doesn't have a clue about what's going on and that these are investigations and there are people who are volunteering their real time getting real information and it is so disrespectful for him to not have the apt to understand what real advocacy work looks like and try to diminish it because he wants to try to mirror it and parallel it to his whatever the fuck operation you want to call this and basically this is a man who sits down on youtube and he found what i think he believed to be a gold mine which is dalton and we appreciate the fact that he covers it, but he's not in it specifically and solely for dog. He gets paid for this. So that whole oh, my page is demonetized. Well, let me help you out. People still give contributions to these shows. And what these YouTubers continue to do is they try to find the hot topic to keep the viewership. I become the hot topic because oftentimes I become so loud in my advocacy that they want to focus on me and my method may be unconventional. My approach might not make this and I'll give hella content because I'm emotional, I'm passionate and all these other things. But when you have somebody who was willing to supposedly be on the team and to wait for a time and say, you know what, if you look at this, he says, they've been giving me the receipts from the Kanika Jenkins case. He says, and I've been holding them. So this whole time when we've been collaborating for Dalton, you've been waiting for an opportunity to come against me. But there's a part in this video, because I'm not even going to listen to that right now. You guys can go look listen to it at your leisure, where he says, and people from your team giving me receipts. That person from my team was me. And this is what I want y'all to understand, because I thought to myself, this doesn't all really feel right. And I don't always put out my, I don't put my conversations out with people. Because I'm just not like that and I believe in confidentiality. And if you do it to one, you do it to another. But when you make yourself an enemy of mine, I think that it's time that we start showing receipts. And so I sent him a message. I was giving him a test. And I said, he said, yo, when you're leaving, this is the day that after he came. On the second he called, I didn't have the ability to answer. He sends me that and I say to him, yo. He said, what's, I said, what's, uh, he said, I said, yo, he didn't answer. I can't talk right now only through text. Yo, what's good? Can you talk? I can in like 15 minutes, but I can talk through text for now. He said, I said, can you text or call you when my plane lands? I'm boarding now. Bet, do that. Actually, I'll just text it. I got so many papers on me, but I need the lease. So I need someone who knows how to put it out that can't be traced. He actually, uh, that can't be traced. I got everyone news and videos, crazy shit. It's going to help in hell week. What do you need me to do? You have any leakers that won't trace back to you? Get it out there with no name. I got that for days. Here's the first test. I need someone who can get shit out. Bet. Wowzers. That's what he said when I sent him what I sent him. Got you. I have one with... Some cooch too. <laughs> I need leakers to come with threats like anonymous. I need it to get out so I can act shocked too. More to come. Do damage. I got you. Not a stretch mark in sight. This is insane. This is the beginning. I've been sitting on mad shit. And now I'm about to edge towards hell week. When is Keith turning himself in? He isn't. He gets on his page while he's now trying to be a detractor from me. To say somebody from your team sent me somebody new. So now I know that you a snitch ass nigga. And you couldn't wait for an opportunity as a snake to try to bite me. And so here it goes.
This is when I knew also, hold on. This is when I also knew that this was nobody I could trust when it was right here. Let me show y'all, wait, let me see. I said, I said, this was a test, y'all, remember that. I've been made aware of your squad, of course, me too. I'm sitting on too much shit, I'm tired of this damn case. We move extremely quiet and I'm, I'm the loud one. Andrew Holmes still walking around Dalton like his sweet, pissing me the fuck off. I want to catch his bitch ass on God. I get pics of him daily. He shows a picture of him daily. What's funny to me is that this picture is the picture that was given to us in our investigation that I put on my Facebook page. So somebody sent it to him. Every day I wake up, hello, hello, I, I will never forget you curse me out because of a troll account. I've been doing this shit almost my entire life, but I never seen no shit like that. I'm officially, it's officially my greatest mem memory in public service. Just a heads up, if you rock with money boy Trey, I can no longer rock with you at all. Any man who involves my wife, I have to cut ties with. Who is that? It is just a YouTuber that used my wife in content and he had a video about you. I don't think that's your buddy or no shit, just a heads up. I'm honest and straight up. I, I don't know him, but I'm going to find it. Don't even trip. I just got off the air. And so what I didn't know, so what I've said to myself, you can't trust this man. The reason why I can't trust him is, number one, you don't even know me. And you sit up here trying to, you're trying to already in this conversation match. You're trying to match my intel. I get receipts, hella receipts all day. But you send me my receipt. That lets me know you're not really paying attention. People are giving you the information. They're helping you to, dis to, to dissect it. You're good with YouTube. You go over there, break up videos with your wonderfully hilarious self. But this is where my problem is. You do have a following of Dalton residents. And instead of just being integral and keeping the genuine mission, you're trying to find a way to make sure you stay on top because you're competing, not trying to comp complete by complimenting a, 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 a collaborative squad. So the reason why I'm on here today to say this on this video is because shame on you. It's niggas like you that help things, that make things for black people uh, chaotic and ineffective. I also knew that I couldn't trust you because I don't have a relationship with you. So how the fuck are you giving me an ultimatum? You can't say anybody who say, well, if you rock with this person, I can't rock with you. Well, we don't, I don't even know you. We don't have a connection. That's bitch shit. You can't tell me as a grown man who I can rock with. I would think that the proper thing would have been to say, do you know this guy? He's saying things about my wife. I don't like it, but like it. Can you address it? And then see what kind of man I am. But no, if you rock with him, I can't rock with you. Once again, showing me you can't wait for your moment to let the fangs in your snake ass show. And so I said, I'm responsive to three YouTubers. I will no longer be responsive to him unless I'm checking this bitch. Because what I want you all to understand is that he has called me out my name. He's called me a bitch when it was a, when it was a troll account. That's what I said. I never seen nobody do that before. A troll account came on his show as me and said, I'm Jedediah Brown. You better put some respect on my name. And I watched this man because people sent it to me, go in on me. And it wasn't even me. But now this is me. I do expect that he will continue on because this is going to give him content. But why would Jay-Z battle with a battle rapper? I'm not about to, as a advocate, get into no long-standing beef with no YouTuber. I'm going to clip this and I'm going to let it play so that people understand. I said I'm tired of this case because I am tired of this case, but I also wanted to see who would say it so I can see if this man was going to be a detraction to me. Based on my findings and my skillful investigative work, I don't think that Shay has a complete ill intent, but I think that this is a muffin top built man that wants relevance and he wants this issue to be one that he champions he don't know how to work with another man that's black that's strong because he know for a fact he's bullshit he probably smokes all day he said it himself he sits on live for seven hours even when i'm live i'm boots on the ground and then guess what you dumbass while you were reporting that i left 
the, uh, the, the, the uh, Dal uh, Dalton. He didn't realize that I came back because I love them and I wasn't going to leave them by themselves. And now I'm doing both. And then it's crazy to me that people like this would really try to diminish my credibility when here is my question. You got a team that don't act like my team because y'all not getting chased by the police because ain't nobody worried about you because you're reporting our news. And then on top of that, yes, you got the residents, but you too busy trying to convince them that you're the better option. Well, I ain't never trying to be no, no expert YouTuber or interviewer. I'm a worker bee. And the resources that I got, he said, I don't even got the resources like he got. Them. I don't even need that. And look what we're accomplishing, reporting our receipts. Some of the receipts you have came from me through those bosses that you call. Because guess what? I sit with those bosses and we talk as a collaboration. We don't cross each other. We don't disrespect each other. We're not looking for a reason to diminish each other because this ain't about no credit. And it's so amazing to me that there's so many more people that are involved with getting shit done that you are able to talk about. And they ain't even looking for no credit, but they're going to get it at the time is right. But then on top of that, the receipt of the nude and it come from my team it came from me. And you literally sat there as a man that claimed to be honest and misrepresented what you already knew. So now I'm telling it. I'm the one that sent you the receipt. You knew I was the one that sent you the receipt because we talked. Stop playing games in my face and go play with your mama. Now my grass is cut. Shay, you are not a friend of mine. You are not a supporter of the real work that has been, that has been done in Dalton. And them people who you got access ask you to do one thing. Stay focused on what was important and let your entertainment shit be put on hold while this is affecting real people's lives. Now you go ahead and have your little fun and report on your page because I got a YouTube page now, but I got to get work done. And when I'm done, I'll come deal with you like I dealt with every other YouTuber and every other cause. Because y'all are the ones who make it chaotic. You got residents following this shit coming and asking me, well, what about this? And what about that? Detraction come because they fall in love with the entertainment because they ain't going to get in the fight. And you make people dis desensitize with your foolishness. What about the new? What about the new? What about it? Because what you said to me, honest man, is that I got fake pages for days that can do leaks. Y'all should go back and watch that live. And Burgundy, you be a fool if you think that that man really celebrates you. I am confusion is what you say. I try my best and I do seemingly, I can't really tell with you. I don't understand. But you says I am confusion. Well, this is what God said. I ain't the author of confusion. So if God ain't writing your program, I don't know how much more I could be responsive to that either. Because if I'm going to, Literally, and this man said I cried, but what, when, what, why did I cry? It wasn't because of Burgundy. It's because my heart was broken because somebody that I trusted to help me get this through the finish line betrayed me and broke my heart. And a real man that do real work would understand that. The only person that I have found to be focused on real journalism is Hannibal. No oomph, no extra, just straight flat out reporting. And he had a large ass platform for that. And I celebrate him for it. And let me make this real clear. When I said that I was giving up because of people talking shit, it wasn't because of y'all. I thought y'all was squad. There are other YouTubers who I would never mention because they are insignificant. Not just to me, but to the residents of Dalton. But y'all aren't. So you got a responsibility as journalists. Now you're confusion, and here I am, I am conviction. Why wouldn't you call me if you had a question that you really wanted an answer to? If I'm going to be responsive to you, why wouldn't you be responsive to me since you're trying to be responsible with how you are influencing 
residents and dogs. And when I'm in war, I don't have time to play nice or have these pleasantries. Because if y'all going to bullshit me, then let's just get it out. You don't never have to invite me again. You could talk your shit on your channels. I will not respond moving forward unless I want to because I'm a grown ass man and I'm my own boss and I could do it if I feel like it. But I'm disappointed. And you ought to be ashamed of your damn selves. But I know what this is going to do. It's going to make them. I'm uninterested. Today, my life. I proved to y'all. They say, "Why? Well, why do he need bodyguards?" I now, uh, and they back to "Why do Jedi need bodyguards?" Well, do you see? Do you see why I have bodyguards? When you have people who are like uh, Alexis Wilson's mother giving me a chance, and you're trying to find a way to disarm me, you also affecting her and her fight that just want to be focused with what you're trying to destroy is that's me because you want to be the face in your lane i don't want to stop your money i don't want to stop your viewership i was damn proud because lnc you actually contributed and i was i wanted to make y'all proud man but now I don't give a damn what you feel. And I give your ass a refund. That little $50 you gave me so that we could be clear. Even that, I said the check cleared. That that LNC check cleared. I, I made it seem like you gave a whole lot of money. They was on it like, even Burgundy Blue was on her page. That was some, oh, the check cleared. Yeah, the check cleared. Well, how much was the check? 50 fucking dollars. These tips going anywhere from a hundred to a thousand. Couldn't even purchase a full tip. But when I talked about it, Shay, I brought I, I puffed you up. And what also, what also made me know I can't trust you was your response. She said the check cleared, and you just snickered and laughed because it propped you up, made your platform look. Like you're doing something. Thank you for the fifty dollars. It did help in this ordeal. But how dare you play in my face when I thought that we would at least have a brotherhood for the movement? And people say, "Well, Jedi, just keep on going and don't worry about it." Understand this: I am dealing with a life and death situation that ain't even my 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 own situation. I don't have any time to play. I don't have any time to fake. I can't not allow any breaches around me. I got to make sure I'm triple checking and double checking and quadruple checking everything that approaches me. These people got friends, family, and loved ones. And at the end of the day, people think that this is about blessings. Well, my life will never be the same. For the rest of my life, everybody who loved them have, will have the potential of seeing me in public and wishing me harm. I hope I said something that added value to your life. Shay, you didn't hurt me because you didn't matter that much. But damn it, you could have been a fucking brother. And we could have started in Dalton. And we could have gone very far. Last thing I want to say. And I'm done with this lie. It's been a long lie. But this is what I want to say. And then I'm done. Give me one second so I can get to it. I was going to play that all that shit, but I'm not playing all that shit. But y'all should go look at it. You can literally see this man trying to lead the conversation. Um in a way that demeans me, disrespects the work. And he tries to make all these comparisons and you have he couldn't compare on his best day with my worst. And this is where I ended at.
Does anyone feel that Jedediah Brown is not holding up his end of the bargain as an advocate? I may I feel he made some promises in the beginning that sounded genuine. However, to date, what has Jed delivered? What has he reported other than some definitely shady things that are going on in Dalton? I really wish this guy the best, but it seems like the stress has impacted him in a negative way. Stretch, stress I would think he's encountered in the past as being an advocate and an investigator. But here we are. Frankly, he's under-delivered and he's adding Flint to his investigation play. What Wasn't he just saying how he was not sleeping and eating for the last several weeks because of all the work he's doing? He passed out apparently because of exhaustion. Now he wants to add more to his workload. Why can't he tell Flint that he'll take their case at the conclusion of Dalton? I don't know. Jed seems to have di become distracted from his initial goal. And he seems to have, in my opinion, abandoned the people of Dalton because of a lack of thick skin 10 hours ago. But I want you all to see is that in that post, there are countly responses. He don't owe no one. He did more than anyone. He has done plenty. Have you helped? Has he ruffled? He has ruffled many feathers. I think he is doing an excellent job. And all you see on here is the residents of the city of Dalton responding to this foolishness, saying, no, nah, motherfucker, you ain't even finna do that right now. And this is why I end it this way, because I'm not finna sit on here while we getting ready. You made the point now, quiet and tried. You tried the shit. You ain't got shit to say now. I speak for everyone when I say, just shut the fuck up. You made no sense with this point. And I want to say to the people of Dalton that while y'all was watching me run away from these murderous ass people, all I was going to do and all I'm committed to doing is running fast enough to get right back to you. And I want y'all to understand this. A fight ain't going to be pretty. And I have to expect that at some point I will be struck back. I have to also need you all to consider that I've counted up the cost in what I'm doing. And I need y'all to please have a little more confidence that I am that I know what I'm doing and I'm a little bit more capable than, may, than what may meet the eye. I'm not afraid in the sense that I'm not going to stand up to them and defend myself. But if you all have been going through this for two years, ain't no fucking way I'm going to experience it one day and it crushed me. When people say a lack of thick skin, they clearly don't understand how thick my skin is because I take hit day after day and I give hit day after day for what I believe in. And I believe in y'all. And I thank y'all for believing in me to see y'all get up and come to that courthouse. And I'm going to say this to Kamal. I can get on this live with what I'm doing and say out of my mouth that I still have a mother. Because if you don't understand sayings, I want you to listen to this one. Apples don't fall too far from the tree. And the thing that I love about my mother is she is the reason why I fight the way I fight. She's the reason why I'm unapologetic. And she's the reason why I know God is real. And so guess what? You think you can intimidate or affect my flesh? Have at it. But I believe that there's something greater behind me and greater behind my family. And greater behind the God-given ministry and mission that we've given, that you may never understand if you think that that was supposed to be taken as just a threat. What that took, what I took it as, was an opportunity for God to do what he said in his word, to make His enemy, my enemies his enemies and his my friends his friends. And so it's okay because I called my mama and I said what was said. And you know what she said to me? Tell them to bring it. And I don't know. I don't know if you ain't heard me when I said this, when I talk about the people who, call, who called you and loved you. But everybody got people that love them. 
that everybody don't march in protest. And so when your people make whatever move they want to make, they better not be like Chief Lacey because that motherfucker is a liability and it's going to also be a part of why this kingdom that y'all delusionally don't think can be penetrated is going to crumble in your fucking face. And I took you as a man, but now I see you were holding me for coward. And y'all filed paperwork because as innocent as you tried to present yourself, that, the, that, that, that subpoena, those subpoenas seemingly suggest different. And with that being said, if I got a million dollars or if I got no dollars, I will be at Hell Week fearing for my life and all May 6th through May 11th. And the same people that ran those police officers out of the courthouse are going to be the same people that come together that's going to celebrate when they run this corrupt administration out of the village. And so to the people I ask you one last time on this live tonight, support who you support. But if you support me, resource the fight. Those are the ways that you can do it. And if you're going to be a part of Hell Week, let me know you're going to be a part of Hell Week. If you cannot give money, that's okay. Let me know what you can give because it's for all of us. And I'm going to say it one more time. Let them think that they can hurt me, but make it clear they can't hurt a movement. And that's what we have, and that's what I'm counting on. I'm not running away. I'm mad. You Gotta be mad to cause hell. Danny gave a lame. Tap up in that spirit, cause we ain't with name. Look at the times, times. That nature who they serve, I'm a judge, he ain't lying. Oh, Babylon, don't you forget that you touch mine. Abraham, the sin is like the stars in the sky. We get signals from the Father, earthquakes and the lava. We know that our king coming, you do not want a problem. Every knee gon' bow, everybody give him on. Every tongue gon' confess that's the son of the Father. We living in the times, we gon' see the second coming. He opening them seals from the heavens, ain't no running. Put away your sins if you love him and you trust him. Mm -hmm. Blow your wings, protect your servants, y'all. Blow your wings. Protect your servants, y'all. Yeah. Blow your wings. Protect your servants, y'all. Yeah. Blow your wings. Protect your servants, y'all. Yeah. How you don't believe? You the one who asked for a king. When the father gave us everything, 
How you don't believe? Messiah you and Dale took the keys. Right now you should drop to your knees. How you don't believe? We was all blind, we could see. Thank you for the ones you giving me. How you don't believe? Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6, verse 7, Luke 1, 33. How you don't believe? Protect your servants, yeah. Blow your wings. Protect your servants, yeah. Blow your wings. Protect your servants, yeah. Blow your wings. Protect your servants, yeah. Would you like to learn a brand new and innovative way to invest your extra money that has a low barrier to entry and low competition? What if I told you that it is a guaranteed method to get up to 18 to 20% return on your investment? Tax lien and deed purchasing is the only way to get into the real estate market through the back door. No credit and no loans needed. This method isn't commonly taught and therefore the competition is very low for now. Put together a 14 hour info packed course which will teach you everything you'll need to know to get started. Learn at your own pace, step-by-step, -step, guided video and aids to start you on the TLC deed investment process. The course offers many learning tools for new investors, helping ensure you safely invest in tax liens and deeds. Contact us today and join the buyback team.